Well, hello, future doctors. In this video, we're going to take all of our wisdom from the years of teaching UCAT, and we're gonna condense it into the four most important steps that you need to carry out to make sure that you get the score that you need to get into medicine and dentistry. If you don't know me already, my name's Dr. Hilton. I'm a doctor and a dentist, so I went through this twice, and me and my team of tutors help lots of people excel in their UCAT and get their place at their dream medical or dental school. If you wanna find out a little bit more, you can check out the description below, but otherwise, in Enjoy these four steps and make sure that you implement them to maximize your UCAT score. Also, we're releasing videos every week and really giving you the best up-to-date bleeding edge tips to help you with your medical and dental school applications. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. But otherwise, enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. One of the most common questions that I get is, when should I start preparing? How long should I prepare for? How much time should I spend each day doing that? So I'd say you need to do it in three stages. The first thing is that you need to grasp the key concepts. Then you need to put them into practice, and then you really need to sharpen the axe so that you're really tight when it comes to exam day. I want to just reiterate the importance of self-care. When we get stressed, one of the very first things that we do is throw self-care out the window. We start eating rubbish, we start sleeping terribly, we don't exercise, and these are all the things that are just gonna keep us in a really nice rhythm, because if you exercise, you tie yourself up, so you sleep well. If you sleep well, then you don't get ridiculous hunger spikes, so you don't eat junk, and the whole thing just stays in harmony. But I am guilty of having done this myself when I started medical school and I was really stressed, was eating crap, drinking loads of caffeine. When you're in that state of mind, you don't have the same awareness, you don't have that mental acuity that you need for being aware for the UCAT. And these are the things that are gonna slow you down, make you make stupid mistakes, and just generally perform lower than your best ability. So don't fall into that trap. No matter how stressed you are, exercise will be the fastest way to get you out of stress. So even if it's a 20 minute jog or whatever it is that you do to just quickly work out that anxiety and stress, just make sure that you do it and prioritize at least 20 minutes a day of exercise good sleep and eating well. Firstly, I would recommend starting untimed and just keep going until you are getting about 80% correct untimed. With that, I would recommend taking one section at a time. The analogy that I always use is a spinning plates. So when a magician spins plates, what they do is they first focus on one plate, put loads of intense prep into that, make sure it's up and running and it can sustain itself, and then they move on to the next one occasionally coming back and giving it a few nudges to make sure that they maintain the speed. And that's exactly the analogy that I would use for your UCAT prep. One of the things that I didn't talk about was the use of mock tests. Now, on our program, we're constantly doing mock tests as a cohort where we're doing it together in exam conditions, then breaking, after we're reviewing the answers, breaking them all down, understanding what we did right, what we did wrong, how we can improve our technique. And I would recommend that you do that. On the channel, we also have a you know test with me or do the mock with me. So a video there where you can see how you do and then we show you how we go through the answers. But we're doing this regularly on the program and I would recommend that you do the same as well to constantly keep an eye on how you're doing with the test. If you want to find out exactly how you can get help or maybe what you need to do to be in that top two deciles, check out this video here where we talk about really what are the most important five things to do for your med school application. But I hope you enjoyed this directory. Like I say, this is more to point you in the direction of what to do, but I hope you enjoy the resources and best of luck with your UCAT.